All right, everybody got me? All right, well, first of all, I want to start off with um, it was great to, <clears throat> great to have all our former players or a lot of our former players out there today uh, to, start our, to start our scrimmage out and had an opportunity for those guys to, to visit with the team. Um, I thought that was, that was really good, um, getting ready for our first and 10 job symposium that we put on every year. Uh, and so we brought uh, several of those guys back that will be meeting with them here in a few weeks and just share about their experience of being a Razorback and um, both the, the, the success and the struggles that they had in, in, on the football field and, and obviously their, what, what, what being a part of this program, a part of this university has meant to them and in their life and in their success. So it was great to have them back out. thought it was a really good scrimmage today. I thought the elements were incredible. Um, you know, again, I wish it could have rained a little bit more early on, but, uh, but again, we, we forced those guys to be out in that element, and we needed that. I thought the energy level on both sides of the ball was really good. I thought defensively uh, continues to, to swarm to the football, uh, continues to attack the ball. Our defensive line has really been impressive all spring long. And today was no different. Sosa uh, is really, really an impact player. I mean, I, I, it's, his consistency has is, is really meant a lot. Uh, T.J. Smith is another one that has, uh, has really come on and uh, provided some great leadership and not only that, but, you know, producing with his play as well. I uh, saw a few things today out of Jamario Bell. I uh, just need consistency from him. Uh, Gabe Richardson was another one that I've seen some – some athleticism coming off the edge in a pass rush situation. We've just got to get more physical uh, at those positions in a run game. Um, but definitely off the edge, those guys present a challenge at times. Uh, Grant Morgan and uh, has, has really taken on the, maximizing his opportunity and, and getting as many reps as he can uh, and, and is really impacting the game. Um, just, just, a, just a ball player. I'm really proud of him. Uh, continue on our back end, uh, Busta and Jaquez at corner. Uh, these are two guys that, uh, as I, I, he, they've, we talked over the last few days, um, the the value of the experience that they got last year, uh, when maybe they weren't, they they were forced into some action that maybe they they weren't ready for, uh, but that that experience has provided so much um, benefit to them for spring. They're playing with great confidence. Uh, which is good, and um, but I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to see where we are defensively. Um, got to keep pushing. We got to keep getting depth. Depth at linebacker is, is, is a concern, and um, but uh, the way we're developing those guys, um, Gio LaFrance and uh, DD have, have done a good job there in maximizing their reps. They got to come on. We got we got um, basically we got four practices left, counting the spring game. And we got to keep bringing those guys on, but we've seen some flashes. <clears throat> I thought offensively today. Um, let me back up this week. Unfortunately, excuse me. Unfortunately, we lost three offensive linemen this week for the rest of spring, um, which was which hamstrung us a little bit. But um, you know, Colton Jackson, when as I mentioned last week, was having as good a spring as he's had. Uh, so, unfortunately, he'll be out with a knee. He'll, he'll be back, though, at the start of the summer. Drew Vest is another one with a shoulder injury. And Silas Robinson with a knee, but uh, he'll be back as well in the, in the early part of the summer. So, we've uh, kind, of, kind of a little bit uh, 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 moving some guys around today. Myron was uh, moved into guard earlier in the week with Colton at left tackle. And, well, that was a great compliment um, while uh, – Austin Caps was out with a flu. We got Austin back today, so that was that was good to have. Move move uh, Myron back out to tackle. So, but that's okay. That gives us an opportunity. Gives other guys opportunity to step in um, against a, a, a defensive front that's bringing a lot of pressure right now, which is which is good. And we a lot of teaching. Too many TFLs, uh, tackles for losses. Too many sacks today. Uh, but um, you know, a lot of what we do in these scr scrimmage situations is we script script for. Uh, either success, I say success, we give them, uh, put the offense in some bad spots, put the defense in some bad spots and see how we respond. Uh, from an offensive side of the ball, though, guys that have really stood out today, I thought John Stephen Jones, this was his absolute best practice he's had. Um, I thought he looked as, as, as good as he's looked since he's been here. Was comfortable, was confident, um, moved the football. Trey Knox continues to impress. Again, just a young guy. Uh, but has a great future ahead of him. Uh, had a big play right there at the end of the scrimmage with a big catch to end the scrimmage uh, with a touchdown. Chase Hayden, 
Uh, again, another young man that's maximizing every bit of reps that he can get. Uh, our running back unit is uh, definitely not at full strength, but Chase is ma maximizing those units. So doing some good things there. We just got to keep pushing. I, I keep bragging on Chase Hayden or uh, Chase Harrell as well, uh, moving from wide receiver to tight end. Uh, has done some some good things. Blake Kern uh, did a few good things today. Had some big catches on third down. So uh, that 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 was good to see. So overall, um, you know, this is this is uh, uh, kind of what was to be expected today. But uh, I was I was very pleased with where we are with the last big scrimmage before uh, before spring's over with. So with that, uh, the one thing that we did have today, we had no turnovers. Defense won the belt <clears throat> because of negative yards plays, but offensively didn't beat yourself. Man, uh, had zero turnovers, which that was a that was a win in itself right there. So, uh, but uh, with that, I'll, I'll open up. You mentioned the offensive line, you losing three guys. How have you seen them throughout the all of spring and today? The I think about the twenty minutes we saw it looked like defense kind of had their way with them. Yeah, they got after them pretty good today. Early on in the scrimmage, um, we were backed up. I think we're on the minus twenty-eight or thirty-one, whatever it was. <clears throat> I definitely thought the energy was brought from the defensive line. Yeah, I think I think overall, from uh, prior to losing these guys, I thought we had uh, we were we were kind of solidifying our five that we were going to go with. Um, and then Colton goes down, and we have to move Myron back out. Austin comes in, but you know I think overall during spring we've gotten better. There's no doubt about it. we've gotten better. And um, yeah, I just wish we could have finished this spring off with a the solid five that we we felt confident with that we'll just start the season with but it is what it is and um you know coach fry will continue to move these guys around and uh, we'll be bringing some more guys in in the end of may so hey chad um if you could kind of overview for us like uh how many plays maybe it was some big plays we saw i think we saw hayden with a big play Deion stewart with one but just you know big takes <clears throat> yeah I, again I, I i don't know exactly how many plays i'm I'm sure we were probably about the, the 120 to 140 mark. Uh, this was the long scrimmage, which we knew it would be um, prior to spring game. Spring game is, is sometimes you don't get a true look um, from, a, from a link standpoint and some, from uh, some, some situational stuff. Uh, I, I did, as I mentioned earlier, I thought Trey Knox, Chase, Chase Hayden uh, with some big plays. Um, you know, I definitely, you know, you, you saw Sosa making some big plays up front, you know, the TFLs and um, that, that's, that's been a big, a big emphasis for us from a defensive unit. But, you know, there, there were, there's some guys making some plays out there, but again, we, we've got to continue to get better and that's what we'll do. Coach, is Clinton, is he back sooner than expected? Shane did come back. We, we, um, he hasn't worked out for the most part in full, full pads all week, uh, but was able to get in some scrimmage work today. So, so that was good to get, to get, uh, you know, losing three, and I think we picked two back up by getting Austin Caps and him back in today for a little bit. With John Steven, is that something that's been building, and what exactly has he been doing that, you know, made it his best day? Was he just accurate today, or is it something about the offense? Yeah, I, I think I think that he was he was accurate today. I thought he was he was effective today. I think that's something that, you know, uh, he's he's definitely improved as, uh, as you would expect in the second year. Um, I think just his communication, his his uh, relationship with Ben has really helped him out as far as just understanding and Jack and everybody just working together in there. And he just had a good day today, completed some balls and uh, was confident in his throws. The, the injury to Colton, is that one that's like a surgery or how long do you think he might it, be gone? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it will be, but it'll be uh, just a clean up and uh, he should be back probably in four weeks. No, Cheyenne O'Grady. What's his status? Yeah, he was. Uh, I believe he was. It was lower back. Was his today? So was not out there today. Well, he was there, but he wasn't in practice. When coach, how many former players do you think you had? And then on the, the other end of the spectrum, how many recruits did you have today? And just the kind of an overview of spring. If you had a couple of hundred here, you know. Recruits yeah, we've had what? quite a few, uh, Clay. We've had quite a few of former players in and out. Some come to practice uh, today. Today, several were at the scrimmage today, and really wanted them to come out and uh, just talk to our players a little bit. Um, recruits, we were probably somewhere around the 45, 50 today. Uh, had some some 
definitely some impact players on campus today that are, that'll be around all day today. So it's good to, good to have them, especially in an environment like today. A lot of good energy. Um, you know, a lot of high school coaches. We've had a lot, tons of high school coaches in this spring, uh, which is good. I mean, that's just that's who we are. Bob McClure, uh, I guess he wasn't out there today, or was yeah. out there but wasn't. Yeah, yeah, he uh, he suffered a. Um, I, I don't know if it was a con concussion. Uh, I think that's what it was early on. Or he, he's in concussion protocol before it's been ruled that. How's things working at punt return? It looks like uh, uh, Dion and Shamar were back there. Yeah. Um, anybody else in the mix and, and how are things developing? Now? Well, we've had Devin Bush back there some. Um, the first part of spring, he was back there. Uh, Greg Brooks is another one that we've had back there. Um, in the second half of spring, we moved them more into the punt unit because we wanted to get the reps out of that. So, you know, I, I, I think Devion's definitely proven what he can do, and we'll keep keep uh, keep improving that area. We've gotten a lot of great work special teams this, this spring as well. Lots of great works. You mentioned John Stephen. How, what did you think of Hicks's performance today? Yeah, I thought Ben did some good things today. I thought he was as consistent, and he's just been steady all spring. Um, but um, I know that we had a had a couple of throws that got batted down. Uh, he had a touchdown that was batted down uh, late here in the scrimmage that it was was open and he knew it. But he's been consistent and been steady. Um, has great command of the offense and leadership. Uh, he's got a great, unique relationship with both sides of the ball. I mean, it, it, being a veteran player, he understands the importance of of knowing that defensive side of the ball and being able to to uh, to compete with those guys. In the spring, is it? Generally, the focus on special teams, I, mean, I don't know if you guys work on every aspect, but it seems like when we're out there, we see a lot of punt team and, and field goal unit. Is that the main areas of focus in the spring versus maybe in camp? It is. You know, going back and going through our quality control study <clears throat> and see exactly how many kicks that we covered this year um, it will dictate a lot. How many, how many returns that we actually pulled out and ran this year from a kickoff return unit. And so we said, look, we're going to focus this spring majority on punt, punt block, and um, you know we'll do some things that way. We do a little bit of kickoff, um, but and then, and then try to get get too deep at our at our field goal unit and really try to stress our kickers as much as we can. You've got one, you've got one um, spot left in this last recruiting class. Is it linebacker that you're going after, or is it best available? What, what's the, the yeah? I actually, got more than one, but. Um, um, we've got an opportunity, um, you know, we'll continue to, to look and, uh, you know, we, whether whatever comes out there, um, you know, we linebacker and the secondary is, is the main focus for us right now. And as we're looking, have you gotten so far to know what the format for the spring game is going to be, how you're going to split the teams? And anything? Yeah, we'll probably do similar to today. Well, you know, offense, defense, you know, we'll do some situational stuff uh, a little bit. But um, you know we'll, we'll we'll probably go two two twelve minute normal clock stops, and then uh, second half we'll do you know fifteen minute running clocks. Uh, second half uh, we'll put all that together this week. Get together. So, all right. Thank you.